Welcome to Daily Reading the Word for December 18th. I'm Jonathan Kinsler. Today's scripture reading is found in Obadiah, the whole, it's just one chapter, and Revelation chapter 9. We're going to be looking at Revelation chapter 9 verse 4, and it goes along with the title of my message, which is Protected by God's Seal. 9 verse 4 says, They were told not to hurt the grass of the earth, nor any green thing, nor any tree, but only the men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. When the fifth angel sounded, it results in this demonic plague even being pictured as locusts coming upon the earth. And it says in verse 3, Power was given to them. Um, as the scorpions of the earth have power. So not like locusts in terms of that we see today, but these are terrible, even like scorpion locusts. Um, Something that is is going to uh, bring terrible pain to to people. And it says in verse 5, they were not permitted to kill anyone, but to torment for five months. And their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings a man. In verse 6, in those days men will seek death and will not find it. They will seek, they will long to die and death flees from them. And so it's an awesome thing that this demonic plague is not allowed to harm any people that have the seal of God on their foreheads. Now, who is that? That is all of those who are um, are known by God, those who have been sealed by God. It's pictured as 144,000, but also not doesn't include just Jews, but also all Gentile people also who put their faith in uh, in Christ. They are sealed, and we see that. We've looked at the seal a number of times al- already. Uh, that seal is the Holy Spirit, even, who are sealed for the day of redemption, and even as a, a deposit or a, even a guarantee for the future inheritance that we will have. But that seal notes ownership. God owns us. We are God's own possession. We belong to him. And let all the supernatural forces and eventually even all the world, all people will know that we are, we are, we are his. In today's age, the people will know we belong to God because of the love that we have. We will know that we are his disciples the way we love one another. That's John chapter 13, verse 35. But this is, this is very much like the Exodus plagues. God's people are protected from the wrath of God. The plagues did not harm the Israelites, only the Magi- Egyptians, and especially the Egyptians who didn't obey God or listen to him. It's also possible that Revelation 9, 1 to 4 is developing Luke 10, 18 to 20, where Jesus tells the disciples, I was watching Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Behold, I have given you authority. And then it says over serpents and scorpions. You can see the the comparison even here or similarity over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall harm you. And he tells them, you know, don't rejoice that the demons Um, submit to you, but that your names are recorded in heaven. That idea of even the sealing. We are his. Um, And our our citizenship is not of the earth, but in heaven. So in contrast to those who have the mark, or perhaps better, the brand of the beast, which is um, explained in Revelation chapter 13, verses 14 and to, to 16, Christians are sealed by the Holy Spirit. And so just one reference for that would be like Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. So Christians should not fear powerful spiritual forces in the world or what is to come because they are under the sovereign protection of Almighty God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, Um, Paul tells the Philippians in chapter 4, verse verse 7, it will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And of course, in John chapter 14, Jesus reminds the disciples too that he leaves us with his peace. Um, Not just any peace, Jesus' own peace. And so for that, it's not a, a peace that the world understands or knows or can have, but it's a peace that also can keep us from being troubled and being afraid. So what a contrast that the, the, the people of God have an experience with the people of the world. They experience suffering, torment, and devastation caused by the demonic locust plague. The world, which does not know or believe in Jesus, is tormented, fearful, and has no hope for the future. But Revelation, this book, is explicit that God's people are not to fear the future, but rather keep their eyes 
fixed on the Lamb, the Lamb of God who has triumphed and now reigns over all. Will you be faithful to the words of the revelation of Jesus Christ? Are you watching and waiting for his return? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this devotional on um, on Revelation chapter 9, and that, Lord, we as the people of God will not experience your wrath. We will not experience these, um, these demonic hosts, the pain that they will inflict on the people of the earth. And so we thank you that you, there's so much you protect us from and keep us from. And Lord, even the suffering that we do go through in terms of even that could be pictured by the, the four horsemen in terms of war and famine and plague. Um, Lord, we thank you that uh, you keep, you protect us even um, until that day. While we do suffer, uh, you hold us and we will always, in the midst of the tribulation and suffering, we will have your peace. We will have your hope. We can experience your joy and in all circumstances. We give you praise that you are always faithful and your hope is sure. In your name we pray. Amen.